Nope, that's the... How? <laughs> How did I hit the shakes? Oh my gosh. Maybe I should move on to something different <laughs> if I can't get it on a run because of my own errors. Yeah, I haven't taken a look at the GDQ schedule yet. I took a look at the game's list. You're just stalling for a run to start late enough that you can raid into... Okay, when is Etiquette's uh, tournament race? Isn't it like, one, like an hour or an hour and change? I'm all, we're, we would also be raiding into like 20 minutes into the future etiquette. So, if that's the case. Maze Run is after midnight. Maze Run is like 11 p.m. West Coast time. If I recall correctly from what I have heard. Not today, rookie. But we'll see it at 50. Gotcha. Yeah, I am stalling for a run. <laughs> I guess that would entail, like, how many more resets? If this is an hour and a half, uh, I'd have to, like, do two more resets to make it perfectly or something. Either that or I stall out more resets. And then when I get poison base load, that's when we raid. Genius. All right, does it say level 18? Yes, throw. Oh, I've considered it. In fact, I've acted on it. This last run didn't get poison base load, so we're good. Apparently, according to Iron, only people whose names are Iron and Crisis get poison base load. So we're good. I need to see if uh, dismounting there is faster than Getting the hard landing. Because you if you dismount there, you'd have to like go off to the right a little bit. Don't mind me. I feel like technically that awakening is ever so slightly faster to get than the first one, but there's just su such a high risk of like a Pokemon horde spawning there. Okay, so we're skipping guard specs now. And we will just hope for good RNG on Ortega. Goodbye, guard spec. Hello, Murkra. How is that slower when I picked up the guard spec in my last run? Teehee. For a second, I thought that Char Cadet was a uh, was a pink Shellos. I don't remember which Sea Shellos is pink and which is blue. I want to say East is pink, West is blue. I don't remember. Try 
Charlo showed up early. I have no idea what that Pokemon was. Level 23 Rookity, maybe? snowing then? Okay. Light snow is fine. That is very acceptable. I don't like the sound of that. Oh. I hate it when that happens. Like, you flick your stick, and then it insta-flicks you back to the position that you were before. Oh, I- speaking of stick, I totally forgot to unbind stick click. Surely this will not matter, and I will simply remember to not put excessive force on the left stick. Hopefully we won't need that. Uh, please do not kidnap me, thank you. Disagree with that, uh, that kickback on the slide. I don't actually know what Scovillain's stats are. It's a really cool Pokemon. I don't even know if it would see any viability in like VGC or something. Okay, we are going to the right. Spawns here this time. Very nice. Should save a little bit of time there because I had a hiccup there on my last run. This is faster for sure than just walking around.
think I have a good idea of how to tackle this junk without dash now. I just need to trust the process. Uh, all right, jump button. Thanks for not firing. Forty-nine artifacts. If only you were level twenty instead of level forty-nine. I didn't miss anything, right? <laughs> that was uh, better movement somehow by like a lot. Oh, it's because of the encounter, that's right. But one encounter shouldn't take up 22 seconds of time though. After this, we'll be flying to Glossy Auto. Okay, how hold. I have I have thoughts about that. I thought that I was in range to bounce off of the pomo instead of encounter it. Unlucky. I'd also like seen the pomo after I had dropped down because of the angle at which I was dropping. Uh, please press Y, game. Uh, this is Montenevera, not Glaciato. That's how you don't get the hard landing there. I 
disagree with that hard landing, but sure, whatever. Yeah, I think here we just go as far as we can. And then we go back to... Oops. I was trying to scroll down my notes and do the map at the same time, and that did not work out as well as I had hoped. I'll probably reformat Iron's notes to make it a little bit easier for myself to read. Not that it's formatted poorly at all, just that I need, like... I need certain things bolded, I need... Things to look in it. Okay, I don't think there's this. There's any way unless I hit that point where I can get the hard, uh, hard versus soft landing there. So I'll suggest that later. Uh, where is it? It's over here. Every time I see that Avalog, I'm always reminded of uh, Legends Arceus. Much better slide that time, or much better jump, rather. Uh, and because I'm not going for guard spec strats on Azumarill, I also don't think I need to pick up the X defense. So I wonder if there's a quicker line to, to get to the cutscene in that case. Just go straight here. And I feel like it should be like right around here. Nice. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and run the ad now while there's nothing going on. So be back in two minutes. I wish I knew what Ability Shield did. Wait, 
doesn't ability sh if in that case doesn't wouldn't wouldn't you want neutralizing gas to be active for slacking? What? <laughs> Don't confuse me when I have a menu coming up. <laughs> how dare how dare you do this to me? How could you do this to me, Sandy? <laughs> Luxio is up. Don't teehee me. Teehee is my line. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> uh, one XP L on Lechonk. And the rest into duck. This is why I'm never gonna play VGC Sandy. <laughs> you keep pulling shit like this. Ah, I split. I did it. I remember to split. Did I enter this cutscene at 23 minutes earlier? Yeah, when I was testing out the, the movement route on this fight, Luxray was the one that spawned. Then again, it could have been just a, a Luxray on the field and not my own Luxray, but... Theoretically, with skipping the guard specs on both Azumarill and on Penny, we should save more time. Obviously, depending on how the fights go, but... Oh! <laughs> I... Luxray, you stand by the bell, and you think about what you've done. This is going to pose a problem. Just for once, could I not have a Pokémon be directly in front of where I need to interact with the bell? I'm gonna have like a split second to see if the Luxray moves left or right. Or if it stays still. I'm gonna run to the right first. But if it runs to the right, I'm gonna move to the left. <laughs> I really hope this doesn't happen every single time I head to fighting base.
That would suck. Alright. Let's do this a little bit better this time. I think I ended at... Faded out at... 759? That felt really fast. I don't think... The Quack Ball got the main keys. I thought you were going to stay over there. We'll come back down for those. the whistle. I should have enough over here. Much better. Saved 18 in game seconds. I also got way more stop and goes that time than before, so improvements. If I didn't get that encounter, we would be on pretty good pace. We're still on good pace. But we would be on even better pace. At the very least, the Poké Doll isn't in my inventory anymore, so there's no chance of me accidentally selecting that. That felt like a high roll. I know there's like a slight chance. I think there's a slight chance for me to die on this fight. Nice crit. I haven't calced it. I haven't done the math. Because you need to eat a close combat plus aura sphere from Lucario. I just hope that the HP is good enough to offset the minus special defense. in the notes, basically you want an average of 12, like, baseline 12 HP, 12 defense, 12 special defense. I think that's what Iron mentioned in the notes. Okay, that's more than good enough. I mean, I guess you also died at crits here, but what can you really do about those? Yeah, 
having lots and lots of mankeys there really helped out. Cool. Good stuff. I'm gonna go close the blinds real quick because the sun is shining directly onto my first monitor. I love the sun. It's a rare commodity in the Pacific Northwest that I would prefer it to not shine on my monitors. It would have been a better gold if it wasn't for that pomo, or pommy. Yeah, we'll take it. Big time save. to take this time to appreciate all of our Switch leaderboard mods that are currently dealing with an influx of submitted runs due to the new Switch update. <laughs> Those are the real ones. I haven't taken a look at PBs and clips in a bit. I think Truly did. Oh yeah, I pressed GG on Truly's. Uh, 215 Victory Road. Solid. Alright, Fairy Base. Remember, we're looking for the Pokemon Center in the snow. Perfect. Uh, we will skip the guard spec. So you want to see Play Rough turn 1 instead of Charm. If you see Charm turn 1, we get caught in a X attack loop until we see Play Rough. Yes, yes, Triv did do that. I managed to catch, well, I looked back at their VOD um, a little bit and now the top three times for kicked are all Pikachu. Which is weird because I think Pikachu is the... the version that doesn't have public notes right now. <laughs> Using my own words against me, Sandy. I do want to... Let's go is on the list of things to do. We'll just see how fast I can push through the rest of them. I don't have time today, but... Soon. I've also... Since running Duck, I have not seen Morgrim activate Prankster on a, uh, like, fake tears or torment or something. It's a nice flowet in the background. Let me think about 
Is there any real strategy that I can do in Fairy Base other than sending out Luxray against things like Meryl? The Dene by the Quackable Tail or Head? That probably means I'm going to spawn right by it. Yeah, because if you were, if you had Crocolor or Foycoco as your star, you'd want to send it out against the Tinks. But Luxray has a good matchup against the Meryl line. No rain, though, means that we should at least come out a little bit ahead by default. And I need to use two vending machines, one directly to the right, and then one further down. Okay, more grims. We'll try wearing out the pokes earlier. Okay, Luxray can take care of those on its own. I don't want to wait until it comes back. Oh, oh, it's good. It's at good HP. I shouldn't have waited. I should probably have sent out Quackable and Luxray at the same time against the Meryl group. We'll refresh Oin Clone at the very least. Luxor is actually doing work. I don't remember what my time was last time, but that felt better just because of not having rain. Speaking of rain, if it wants to rain now, that would actually be preferred. So I can just spam Terra, Terra Wave Crash. Uh, otherwise, we're going into the Risky Pipe. And it looks like we're doing the Risky Pipe. I actually don't know what happens if I get a play rough attack drop fall. It's probably game over. Okay, we're we are in an X attack loop. And I can only afford to do two more. Or three more. No attack drop means acro. We're at 71 HP exactly. Um, so we'll acro this and then we'll wave crash the dock run. No baby doll eyes means we are in torrent. Should be 71 minus 43, which is 28. And that is more than good enough for torrent. I could have technically wave crashed the Wigglytuff, and I would have sat at 1. 
I don't know if Doc Ben knows Quick Attack Ball. Oh yeah, we're saving time. We're saving a lot of time. Even with the extra turn. Actually, now that I think about it, it was, it was the same amount of turns as PB because I had to set up two X attacks versus guard spec plus X attack. More like we're thieving time, time theft. <laughs> time theft Sunday. <laughs> time theft Sundere. Actually pretty apt because Ortega does kind of have like the the Sundere vibes. I don't remember if Sundere is a gender specific attribute or not, but we'll say that applies to Ortega. It's like, well I guess I have to give you my star badge. I hate you, and don't you forget it, but you're still pretty cool. This one would this run would really suck to get poison based load on. I honestly think that the Star Barrages here were just like played better overall. Could still probably play it even better than that, but then again, there is a certain amount of RNG elements to it. Which Pokemon you end up basing, etc. Karafa West is next. Larry, I'm sorry. I'll come back for you in Victory Road, I promise. I try to maneuver a little bit like to the right of that trainer when doing that, just in case like something weird happens with the Coridon jump off. I think what Iron like thought up with the uh, the wave crash torrent recoil into dead and then setting up Luxray for this fight is a I think that's a really really cool strat. 
We need more uh, mutually assured destruction strats in our Pokemon speedruns. Like boom strats with Graveler against Giovanni 1 in Hideout in Let's Go. Uh, this was Intimidate, right? No, it's Rivalry. So this is guaranteed. I don't actually know if this is a range if you're female in Rivalry. Probably is. I remember having Iron, or I remember Iron having a little bit of trouble whenever he would get a female rivalry Luxray. Yeah, I would say that my only major goof so far. Um, well, yeah, one being the encounter, and then two, um, I think I could have done fighting base and fairy base in one less, uh, Pokemon group if I had paid a little bit better attention. Because, like, sometimes when you let's go your Pokemon into a group, it just, like, doesn't, depending on its facing, it just, like, doesn't follow through all the way. Oh god. I've already gone off to a slow start. this one because I've had a lot of spread like two encounter groups so I wasn't sure if I was gonna make it by the time I get to the base uh, wait where is it oh it's over here whoops nice 33 out of 30 by the way <laughs> I remember there being like a thing that you can do if you send out like two Pokemon against the same Pokemon at the same time, like it'll count for two instead of one. I'll, there's probably a way that you can optimize that, but I'm gonna treat that more as a bonus than something to to aim for. Close Combat's such a clean animation. It's a shame that animations are on to begin with, though. I saved eight seconds somehow. I'm also gonna attribute that to... Wait, I didn't... Did I have rain coming out of the Ortega fight in my PB? I don't think so. I don't know what to attribute that to then.
if this 127s, I'm honestly probably happy to move on. And then, like, if I get bored and don't have anything to do with speedrunning, I'll come back and make another pass through with, uh, like, Path, Starfall, and Victory Road. So much to speedrun, and so little time to do it all in before Super Mario RPG Remake comes out. Oh, I still need to run Cassette Beast on the new seed, too. Uh, add that on the list. I saw, um, I think May debuted Cassette Beast's All Rangers, All Ranger Captains at PAX, and that was a fun run. Might look into that also. For Cassette Beasts? I don't know. I haven't been keeping up with the, uh, with the Bitten Studios Discord as of late. I think people are like, we're going to take the long way around. Um, I think people were generating new seeds last I checked. I have not kept up with the news there. All right, make me run all the way around everything. Why don't you, game? <clears throat> I think that was like four separate instances of me needing to walk very, very long paths around Pokemon spawns. Alright, I think I'm still gonna take the inner loop for poison base, but I'm gonna like look back every now and then and just double check to make sure that things get cleared out. Either that or just pay attention to my uh my counter more. So I can save a lot of time on this split. Well, one, obviously, assuming that I don't get any lag or increased loads. But two, I had to run all the way across the, the base to pick up a couple of extra mons that I missed. So I'll make sure that everything's cleared out this time.
Let's see some funguses. You need to take out those three. We'll send you against you two. Ideally, I think I want to be at like 15 by that group, so this is fine. Uh, I will double back for that group that the Luxray died to in a second. I should have enough here. Yeah, I'll have enough. Please kill a fungus, only clone. Thank you. Venonat reference. I think this should be good enough. Those two ghastly haunt response like split up 2 1. So it was a little bit awkward to try and get them all down. Yeah, I think my position is correct here. So should save time, assuming no poison from Sludge Wave. Alright, X attack and pray for no poison. Let's go. If I really wanted to make a comparison on like how fast this is, I would honestly probably would have had to run Haunch Crow. <laughs> Seeing as I've never done duck before today. But I feel like the Ortega to Yakumo split, I, I'm pretty sure I did that basically the same as the last run, and I saved 8 seconds on it. Should be like seven seconds of time save. Eight, cool. And then assuming Penny just hits me with two Psychics with no special defense drop, we should save two turns on that fight. Assuming Clavel yawns turn one, we save one turn on that fight. So this can get pretty close to a flat 127.
probably if everything goes well from here on out, like 127, like 1x maybe. And I would be more than happy with that. Oh, by the way, we made it out of Poison Base. My name is not Iron, my name is not Crisis. Ergo, make it out of Poison Base. My name is also not Ergo. I haven't seen Ergo in a while. Ergo Te. Hope they're doing well. I think the last time that I saw them, they were doing, uh, like, Crystal key item rando or something. I should test out like exactly where the the cutscene line is. Alright, if I recall correctly from last run, I need to just mount a little bit later than normal. Oh no, I'm gonna lose time on the slip because it's not raining. And Torkoal's drought's gonna activate. Imagine wanting rain and weather effects in your Pokemon Scarlet Violet speedrun. I'm gonna run the ad like directly following the mellow split. I am running out of snoozes very quickly. Is it worth it to mount there? It's like borderline, depending on uh, 
how fast you can hop on, hop off. in a position to take out all four of those. Should be twenty nine thirty. Yep. Yeah, I don't know what that was. There were just like two hound hour everywhere. I was actually scared that I would have had to go past the last pack. It was just groups of two hound hour everywhere. <laughs> I think that was like slightly slower than uh, last run, but that's fine. Alright. There can still be rain. Never mind. I'm gonna lose time to no rain. But save time to less lag. It doesn't lag a whole lot in Fire and Dark. It's really every other base. But I'm sure that the... Like, whatever little bit of lag there is... Probably offsets. all in two minutes and there will probably be a cutscene still going on. You cannot banish me to the ads. Understandable, have a nice day. <laughs> you know, fair. Considering the amount of, like, rotation between people who streams. Like, even in the Switch, like, community alone. It's value. It works. Speaking of...
and as was predicted, especially with this category, still in a cutscene. Okay, flying to the academy. I just noticed that there are two, like, quest markers now because of the TLC. The Teal Mask DLC. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Spider, can't you just ban people from SRC? <laughs> or from Poseon leaderboards? Alright, let's not see Yawn turn 2. Turn one is perfect. Okay, what do we see? At turn two. Yana. Interesting. Awakenings at the bottom. Uh, foul play is probably best. Or just, okay, cool. Aqua step time. No reflect, no foul play, no problem. I forgot where awakening was, but that's fine. take this. This is this is not world record pace, Sandy. No shot this world records. If this world records, I'll I'll do bootleg ash when I find the notes for it. Before SMRPG comes out. That's how confident I am that this will not world record. Multi-geist. Nice crit. Alright, I need to start thinking about how I want to play out Penny. Uh, in case of baby doll eyes. Double X attack, Aqua step. I wonder if plus three Aqua step kills Umbreon. That's not something that's written down. Like if I went to plus four, hit Aqua step, and then I, I get immediately hit by baby doll eyes. In that case, I might need to reset up on Flareon. It's probably the best option there. There's no way this world records, right? 
I had to spend two extra turns on Penny. Wait, crap, this might actually world record. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. There's no way that I don't get baby doll eyes from Penny. There's no shot this world records. I'd have to get double psychic on Umbreon. I would not have to see a single baby doll eyes. There's no way this world records. No shot. Uh, up, left, down. Oh god. Uh, up, left, down. Input buffer two times. That was not on purpose, I swear. I've never thrown on purpose. Even in all of my Let's Go tournament runs. Even Venonat into Venomoth. That was planned and not a throw. I mean, I was third place anyway in that race, but that's besides the point. It ate two of my inputs. I knew I should have used the D-pad there instead of the control stick. Alright, the best way this fight can play out is I double X attack, Aqua Step, and spam Acro. I know, right? I have a problem. No guard spec strats here. Psychic, no defense drop. No special defense drop. It's better odds than Greedence. There's no way this world records. I realize I have said things live on stream, but surely there's no way this world records. That's two turns of setup skips. I think possibly three? Let's see, X attack twice, guard spec, heal, X attack. No, it's two turns. We're still at plus four. Still at plus four. Um, just double checking to make sure. I'm pretty sure that I'm in torrent, just in case. Yeah, that's torrent range for sure. Still at plus four. If we're still at plus four by the time we hit Vaporeon, we're good. I might actually need to focus <laughs> for the last bit. Let's see how much we're ahead by. Imagine if we see baby doll eyes here. That would be super troll. More so, imagine if I didn't get that encounter at the beginning of the game. Heading to Kaskaratha. This would have solidly been record. But let's see.
Let's go tournaments, memes, at JTattles. Hey, I heard you did bootleg Ash recently. I made a mistake. Do you have notes? I made a mistake on stream. Do you have notes? I hate this. How is two turns 33 seconds? How is two turns 33 seconds in this game? The game can still crash. I could just not ever come out of a cutscene. There's still a chance this doesn't world record. <laughs> I could have a power outage right now. This is what I get for not like having a good sense of time, period. T. I don't know if I'm gonna raid Eket after this. I, the last time I had, I got Path of Legends uh, record, I raided into Etiquette. Uh, I kind of want to. It's honestly, let's see. Randall and Iron are doing diploma right now, both on their uh, their uh, their Switch free trial. Okay, I need to. I need to actually focus on hitting down, down, right. Like the last major input that I need to do. I will not talk to Briar. I will have my finger off the turbo button. Down, down, right. Cool. I will have my finger off the turbo button when I head to the entrance hall. J Tattles is typing. <laughs> okay. Go to the entrance hall. Is this turbo A here? After I select entrance hall, we are taking my finger off the A button. No throwing. High Furious. We're not throwing. I would never self-sabotage intentionally. Yeah, it really does put you right next to her. You just have to remember to, to not hold down A coming out of that, uh, that screen transition. Game could still crash. The game could still crash. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, hey, Amber. Uh, <laughs> good job. You're two for two on coming in, in the last five seconds and making a new world record happen. Amber truly is the goat. You know, honestly, they really are. They really are your world records. This this had an encounter. Like had an encounter, had an extra turn on Ortega. Let's get this verified. <laughs> I'm gonna need to start looking up bootleg ash now. Amber, I made a mistake. I said that if this world record if this run had world record potential and did, I would do bootleg Ash sometime before SMRPG came out. And, uh, whoops. Quick, delete the VOD. <laughs> delete the VOD. I'm not gonna bootleg Ash world record, Fury. There's n I don't- I haven't even played Let's Go in a while. Okay, here's Quaxling Lechonk spin the party since I caught it. 562 XP. Naughty by nature. This Lechonk is modest, I just realized that. I will not do Professor's Oak Challenge. I will not say anything anymore. <laughs> I said enough for today. 